what is the HPA axis and why is it important? Well, HPA stands for hypothalamus pituitary adrenal and it's really explaining what the stress response is all about. You get a signal from your hypothalamus to the pituitary which turns on your adrenals. Now your body's being flooded with adrenaline and cortisol and you're primed for fight or flight. And it's a beautiful system, it really is. It's what determines your survival in a lot of situations. But the problem with it today is that in most people, it's always turned on. And so if you're experiencing something they call chronic stress, that means your HPA axis is turned on continuously and it loses the feedback loop, meaning the signal from your adrenals back to your brain, the hypothalamus pituitary, that says the stressor is over and it's time to recuperate. And that's the main problem with stress. People are not recuperating. They're never fully letting go. And so they lose the proper function of their HPA axis. They're locked into a chronic stress response. They're always losing adrenaline, producing cortisol at, a, at an abnormal rate. Even when they sleep, it never shuts off. And so you have to bring that back into a balance. When you bring it back into a balance, then you flow in between the stress response and going back to normal. So your body's always going from being balanced and then going back into having the stress response and then going to recovery and going back to balance. What happens if when you're always locked into it, you have a life that's all about survival and you're reacting to every situation you come into. What you wanna be able to do when you have a balanced HPA response is you want to be someone who responds to situations in life and just takes care of what's going on. That creates a healthy way of having a stress response as opposed to being someone who's just reacting and often just overreacting to every situation in life.